You're watching Coping with COVID-19 with Chris Manners. Today's special guest is Lindsay Hole. Hi, I'm Chris Manners and you're watching Coping with COVID-19. Today my guest is Lindsay Hall, the founder and CEO of Dispatch Goods and a former clinical perfusionist at UCSF. She's just started a new initiative called Project Clean to provide alcohol-based cleaning products and hand sanitizers to at-risk Bay Area communities. Lindsay, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. No, it's lovely to see you. So tell us a little about your background and how Dispatch Goods serves San Francisco's restaurant community. Sure. So um, we launched uh, in October. Uh, we've been working on this for a little over a year. And we partnered with restaurants to provide them with a free uh, reusable container system that could replace single use products. Um, we partnered with Yelp headquarters downtown in San Francisco. And we had about 10 restaurant partners um, as of February before kind of COVID hit. And uh, employees at our corporate partners could request the reusable containers when they were getting their, their lunch for takeout or if they were getting it delivered to their office. We then handled the pickup and dishwashing. So obviously the, the, the virus pandemic has hit and now you've had to sort of pivot your company. And I understand you've launched a new initiative called Project Clean. Can you let our viewers know what the program's all about? Sure. So when we... Uh, we basically, when this hit, we asked, okay, what do we have and how can we help? We also noticed that there was a, a, a gap in the supply for hand sanitizers to certain community members and individuals. And so we talked to Seven Stills Distillery about making um, hand sanitizer. Um, and, and in true form to our zero waste mission, we decided, I bet we could collect enough containers from the community that we wouldn't have to supply more single use plastic containers. And so we launched Project Clean. Um, and in that, we've collected over 200 containers. Um, they're spray, hand pump, and squeeze bottles. And then um, been working with Seven Stills on supplying the, the cleaning products. What has the response been from the community at large and how can people help? How are you guys funded? Um, we're donation based and just self funded right now. Um, we are buying basically the products that cost seven stills is, is not charging us much for, for that. They're also just trying to cover their expenses and um, we have a little bit of donations coming in. But um, if you go to our website dispatchgoods.com slash project dash clean. Uh, you can either donate containers that you have. We'll come do pickup. We're doing it twice a week now. Um, or if you yourself need um, any of the cleaning products, um, you can you can uh, fill out the form and request those as well. Um, and there's also a place to make a donation. So where are you um, handing out the hand sanitizer right now? We're doing it in the same routes as our, our drop-off routes, but we've been, so the, the hand sanitizer is gonna be finished today. And so uh, tomorrow we'll be doing our first round of drop-offs. Um, and we've been contacted by healthcare professionals that after they come home have nothing on hand there. We've been um, contacted by retirement communities. We've been contacted by physicians um, in, in their offices that they don't have anything. And then individuals that just weren't able to get the supplies because they were sold out so quickly. And so basically during our normal pickup routes, now we're gonna be doing the drop off as well. That's fantastic. Well, you. you know, I think that's a, a, a wonderful service you're providing, Lindsay. Keep, thank you so much for coming on the show and um, keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Chris. I really appreciate it. And that's it for this episode. We'll be back with more stories shortly. You've been watching Coping with COVID-19. I'm Chris Manners. Thanks for watching.